everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about product of a binomial and a trinomial. So to get the product of a binomial and a trinomial, we are going to use the distributive property. So let's have example number 1. x plus 2 times 4x squared plus 5x plus 6. So to apply the distributive property, we are going to multiply each term of a binomial to each term of a trinomial. So we are going to multiply first the x to 4x squared plus multiply x times 5x plus multiply x and 6. Next, multiply 2 and 4x squared plus multiply 2 and 5x plus multiply 2 and 6. Now let's simplify. x times 4x squared is equal to 4x cubed. What you are going to do is apply the loss of exponent, multiplying powers with the same base. So multiply the numerical coefficient, copy the base, and add the exponent. So we all know that there is 1 in here. So 1 times 4 is equal to 4. Then copy the base, which is x, and add the exponent. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. That's why we have 4x cubed here. Next, x times 5x is equal to 5x squared. Okay, the next, this one, x times 6 will become 6x. And 2 times 4x squared will become positive 8x squared. And 2 times 5x is equal to 10x. And 2 times 6 is equal to 12. Now, combine similar terms. As you can see, 5x squared and 8x squared are similar terms. And 6x and 10x is also similar terms. So, we are going to simplify that. So, the final answer is 4x cubed plus 13x squared because of 5x squared and 8x squared. We combine them. Next, plus 16x because of 6x plus 10x plus 12. Now, this will be our final answer. The 4x cubed plus 13x squared plus 16x plus 12. Another example. 3x plus 2y times 5x squared minus 4xy plus 3y squared. Again, we are going to multiply each term in the binomial to each term of a trinomial. So, multiply 3x times 5x squared plus multiply 3x times negative 4xy plus multiply 3x times 3y squared plus multiply 2y times 5x squared plus Multiply 2y to negative 4xy plus 2y times 3y squared. Now simplify. 3x times 5x squared will become 15x cubed. Why? 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Copy the base which is x. Then add the exponent of the, the base which is 1 and 2. That's why we have cube here. Okay, so that is 15x cubed. Next, this one. 3 times negative 4 will become negative 12. Copy the base, x, then add the exponent. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. That's why we have x squared here. Then copy y. Next, is simplify this one. 3x times 3y squared will become 9xy squared because 3 times 3 will become 9. Copy the x and copy y squared. That's why we have 9 x y squared here next simplify this one 2y times 5 x squared will become 10 x squared y this one 2y times negative 4 x y will become 
negative minus 8xy squared. They are unlike sign, that's why it will become minus here. Then simplify this one. 2y times 3y squared will become 6y cubed. Now remember, you are going to combine the similar term. Okay, now simplify 5x cubed. Then it will become minus 2x squared y. Why? Because 12x squared y and 10x squared y are similar, so we are going to simplify it. We, uh, since they are unlike sign, you are going to subtract. So 12 minus 10 is equal to 2. Copy the sign of the number that has a greater absolute value. So we are going to copy the negative sign. So that's why it will become positive, negative here. 9xy squared and 8xy squared are also similar terms. And then since they are unlike sign, you are going to subtract. So it will become plus xy squared here. Okay, you can put 1 in here or not. Then bring down 6y cubed. So the final answer is 15x cubed minus 2x squared y plus xy squared plus 6y cubed. Now it's your turn. Find the product of the following. If you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson, differentiate algebraic expression, equations, and inequalities. Thank you for watching. Happy learning, everyone.